when you are in, at work, you are not a slave. You have to complain when there are things that you know, are not right for you. Between 2013 and 2016, Banana Link facilitated a project to educate workers about their rights and to empower trade union representatives to secure decent working conditions on banana and pineapple plantations in both Ghana and Cameroon. Their partners on the project were FAWU, FACO Agricultural Workers Union from Cameroon, GAWU, the General Agricultural Workers Union of Ghana, TUC, and the IUF, the International Union of Food Workers. As a result of the training, reps and officials are trained in such a way that consultations of the workers is now very, very, very important. And all our collective agreements have a consultative background. Workers then own what they are we are being negotiated for on their behalf. Currently, majority of workers are able to meet their basic household needs. And this, they appreciate that it is because of the union negotiations with management. Almost all workers have now been able to receive protective clothing, personal protective equipment when using chemicals. Women used to come back home at 11, 12 o'clock in the night. Today, some of the park houses close at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, which is good for us. But we're trying to see how this can be harmonized. All the park houses should close almost at the same time. Because of uh, the role, the especially the educational program we've had, the opportunity to carry out in the plantations, many workers became members of the union. At the end of the, of the program, we have more than 2,000 workers who have now joined the union. And the education program we've had, that had made them to become aware of the role the union can play as far as the working and living conditions are concerned. Before the project, the National Secretariat were receiving many problems to be, go to be resolved. But with the project and the training offered, the reps are able to solve their grievances the way they like it. And now, grievances to the national and regional level have reduced. Because of this project, we have less workers now coming to the, to the office with grievances. Formerly, it was, it was not easy because so many workers, the slightest problem in the, in the plantation, they rush to the office. Now, since the uh, union representatives have been empowered, most of those uh, grievances are now being handled at the level of the plantation. The staff reps who have trained have become more aware of their role and they are prepared to pick up the challenge wherever they are. We've been going to the field at Mostar to talk to, to the workers. And this has created an awareness within mostly the female workers, the female staff reps, reps to, the, to an extent where before they couldn't handle workers' problems. But at the moment, they can now dialogue with their managers and the, their field assistants, their bosses, and, bring, and solve workers' problems amicably. There were many things that we did, we did not know. And we are afraid to talk because when you, you talk, maybe your big man will put you behind. We'll know, you will not like to, to deal with you. So now, but as, as the seminars were going up, we, we, we had our handbooks. We read over it. And the, the lectures that you, they give to us made us to know that when you are in, at work, you are not a slave. You have to complain when there are things that you know, are not right for you. At first, you were afraid. You cannot talk to your boss concerning a worker. But now, we can talk. Good morning, sir. This worker complained that yesterday he was paid by five hours because he went to the hospital and uh, he did not take permission. He said, OK, go and bring me a paper. What happened that we were not paid yesterday? You see, the worker he said, I was sick. So I left from the house to the hospital without coming to work because of transport problem. He said, Mami Karo, go and make a report for him. I will make a report and I will sign. We will pay the person. So the union has really helped us, really helped us. You know that the banana industry is one where uh, there is extensive usage of chemicals. And most of these workers didn't know exactly the danger in which they were by being exposed to chemicals. Now, through the education program, they're now aware and there's absolute need 
to use protective equipment. Gao, as a result of the project, has been able to educate and train workers to have a more preventive approach to safety and health. I was educated and from there I knew how to receive problems from workers and how to resolve those problems. For instance, before pregnant women were preparing materials, we see that we don't longer send pregnant women there. The chemical that they use to prepare those things are very, very toxic, can even harm somebody, even in future. Because when we inhale them now, we don't see it. But in future, it will affect us. In my farm, I talk to workers on the monster twice a week to keep them awareness of what they are doing. The training has done a lot for me because now I know my rights. I know what is good for me. If I don't have my protective equipment, I should not work. But now I know that with my protective equipment, I can do this job or I cannot do this job. For instance, they can say, go and mix this chemical or go and apply chemical without uh, gloves, nose mouths, uh, rain boots. I will not go. There was this idea of a crash in the plantation, but uh, the women have refused vehemently that they don't want a crash in the plantation because it is highly chemicalized, toxic, hazardous. So they won't want their children, who are so very tender, to live in such an environment. Effectively, we've been able to reach uh, many workers in the plantations, over 6,000 of them, to whom I've been talking to regularly, they never had the internal rules and regulations of CDC. And a worker is punished because of those internal rules and regulations. Yet the workers don't know exactly what those articles stand for. So we made an, an, an effort to print copies and give to each worker, so that if a worker is being punished for the violation of certain article, he can go to his own copy and look at what that article is talking about. Those problems which the workers, mainly women, had in particular was maternity leave problem. With this, we had to bring out some tracks, the information. So we brought out those tracks, gave them to the workers, they shared them within themselves. We asked them that if you go, if you cannot read, you go home with the track, you ask your, your child to read it and explain to you so that you know the various documents to compile in order to make you attain that family allowance. We had some women who could not receive their maternity break because they didn't know which documents to compile. So those uh, tracks we gave them helped them and they have attained, they have, let me say they have gotten their, their uh, maternity leave paid. So the boss will not allow the worker to go to breastfeed the child before coming back. So they usually work throughout the work the eight hours. But with these uh, in, uh, lectures, the workers are now aware and they have, let me say, confronted their bosses and they now take their nursing breaks with either in the morning or in the afternoon and it's okay with them. The idea of gender is something which most of the people in the plantations took as a joke. But now they realize the need and the importance of that project. Now, so most of the workers in the plantations are now becoming gender sensitive. There was something like this uh, sexual harassment that was really rampant because of ignorance. Ignorance of what? The women, some of them did not know their rights. They, they did not know what to do if uh, such a thing occurs. When there is a problem like that, the woman will come and then report this problem. And when you report this problem, we go back and handle that problem. And when we handle that problem, you see the people who used to go out to harass, they, 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 they hold themselves. They don't do it anymore. Formerly, our women used to be very shy. And if we want to consider the gender aspect presently, there's really a great improvement because they are now able to talk to other workers, not only in small groups, even at muster. We went to some farms for muster talks and one of the talks was delivered by a woman and she was really excellent. The women who are not staff representatives, they are really aspiring to be because uh, this year, 2016, we will be having our elections, our staff representative elections, and we have quite a good number of women who are hoping to be part of that, unlike before. Women have been empowered so much as a result of the training 
that's in one of our locals. Either two, you could have only one woman representing or contesting for position. We are privileged to announce that from two, now we've now been able to get four women out of eight from the executives that we've newly elected. I used to like think that, but why are women so much behind? But I never had an idea of how we can move forward and get things done the way people should feel comfortable in the society. So I've really enjoyed the gender aspect. It's a passion that I now love so much. And I will continuously learn and learn and learn. We don't want to give a gross exaggerated figure, but at least we know that 85% of the workers now are aware of their rights. Many more are now aware of their rights and responsibilities, and it is our hope that we will sustain this for every worker to know their rights. But now I am bold. I cannot talk to anybody. I can talk to any. I can express myself anywhere, just because I know my rights. And I will quote you from labor code. This is and that this is what it says. From collective agreement, this is what it says. So now I am bold. I'm not somebody who talks, let me say, talks so much or could address a crowd. But with this project, with the empowerment and the awareness that we've gotten from this project, now, at least, even now like this, I couldn't, if you came in the past and say, let me talk to you, I wouldn't have been able. But from the project, I've gained a lot. I've been empowered and can now stand, can now address a crowd at Mostar in the field with workers, we can address them.